Good morning, everybody. This is a live broadcast from the south of the main Hawaiian Islands on a topographic feature called Swordfish Seamount. Sort of in the middle of a group of seamounts that we call the Geologist Seamount. Nobody has ever been on this seamount. It's a brand new exploration. We're going to be going down to the 1,000 meter depth. This is very, very close to the oxygen minimum zone in Hawaii. In fact, we'll basically be in it, which means we're expecting oxygen levels to be somewhere between one and two milliliters per liter. This dive depth was selected to try to get a, a better understanding of how the OMZ, if you will, affects these coral communities. Most people sort of can visualize that the deeper you get, the colder you get, the darker you get, the more pressure you get, sort of a more or less uh, constant curve. Uh, oxygen doesn't do that. In fact, oxygen starts off high, and then when you get down to about uh, 800 meters or so, here in Hawaii at least, then you hit a what's called a minimum, where it gets down uh, below one milligram per liter and then as you keep going deeper, it starts going back up again. And so it's a very different pattern. And we believe it's uh, a major environmental factor in shaping communities and perhaps stratifying deep sea communities as well. That looks like Astonactus paparaceus, but I it, it's a little different from the ones that I've seen before. It's got all these black tips on it. Uh, we've never seen one alive to this level of detail before, and we really didn't know what they did when they were alive because there were so few of them. This is a really just a great image. It's stunning to see it so up close and, and alive. I I'm. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. So when we pick these dive sites, we're picking places that have uh, sharp edges with the idea that it'll have lots of hard bottom and greater flow and more likely to have deep corals. And um, this one seems to be uh, what we hope for. That's a pretty scene right there. Nice little height and density stand right along this. This rock ledges, that's beautiful. That's thanks. a nice place to leave. Yeah, thanks Josh, appreciate it. A couple last good Really beautiful close-ups to end the, the dive. Excellent dive. Which was a really good dive, absolutely. Yeah. It's a race to the burrow. Snail is winning. seeing a live video feed from the remotely operated vehicle Deep Discover uh, that's deployed off of the ship Okeanos Explorer. And we are on a seamount called Ellis Seamount about a hundred miles south of Honolulu and we're at a depth of about 2,000 meters down below the surface, well over a mile 
and we have discovered today for the first time a rather amazing community of deep sea corals. This community was unknown until this morning when we actually landed on the site. having so many silent moments that are just appreciating what we're seeing here and just stunned by the size of these corals um, and the beauty uh, of the corals and this whole community. so distracted by what I'm looking at here, you're sort of, it's just the scenery and the, the density of these corals, it's just so stunning. So there's your laser dots right there, just even get a feel for how big these things are. I'm not even going to guess. You know, the, the, so the lasers are 10 centimeters apart. So clearly some of these are, are two to three meters in height. And so they're, they're quite large colonies. Well, this large and with bases that big, these are surely hundreds of years old, these colonies. Yeah. Definitely Um but these spines on the arms are unusual for what I've seen uh, in the species that I'm familiar with. But uh, the original specimen for for Evo, the Hawaiian Evoplosoma was lost uh, about 30 years ago. The stunning image. Um, uh, all of these spines are, are just something I've never seen before. That that's just a beautiful animal. That's just sort of amazing. Uh, well over a mile below the surface. Temperature that's now about two degrees Celsius. Pressures over 3,000 psi down here, completely dark. And yet you can have this incredible community that we're seeing right now. It's not too far from Honolulu and uh, hopefully uh, there'll be some other visits here to follow up after this cruise because we're just scratching the surface here.